What's up gamers, Sergeant Wookie here with a new series of short videos going into the details behind the vehicles of SnowRunner. Now this game really has caught my attention, and according to my last video it caught your attention too. Now I will be doing these as I unlock the vehicles through play, and will give a bit of a verdict based on how they drive in game, versus their utility and situations, and a bit of a summary too. So sit back and let's get into it. Chevrolet CK1500 The CK1500 is the starting vehicle in SnowRunner, but that by no means makes this truck a lame duck. From my research, the in-game iteration is based on the 1997 Chevrolet CK1500, specifically the four-wheel drive sport side short box, and is one of the 18 licensed cars introduced into SnowRunner. I've got to say, they did a great job on this model. It looks just like the real life counterpart in every detail and is a proper testament to the celebrated 1500 series. The modification selection for the CK is broader than most of the other early game vehicles, with a lot more cosmetic, mechanical and service upgrades available early on through map exploration. So you can keep this beginner's truck competing with later beasts you'll find for some time. The handling for this truck is great, and it definitely belongs in the Scout class with both its utility and versatility versus different types of terrain. But be careful not to take it for a long trip without reserves. She gets thirstier than some of my larger trucks when slogging through endless mud. I'm still yet to find the engageable differential lock option for mine, but with the 5.2 litre custom engine, it tackles even the sludgiest mud with nothing but all-wheel drive, off-road tyres and snow runner gearbox. Overall, the CK1500 is a beast of a scouting truck, true to its real-world roots and that it just doesn't quit. Until you empty its tank, that is. Oh, don't hit me with them negative waves so early in the morning. So if you enjoyed this look at everyone's first scout, or just want to see more SnowRunner content, please consider subscribing, and I hope to see you all in Michigan soon.